level three from Chan. Angel Chan with 11 points. Her third three of the half, giving her 43 for the season. She's hitting nearly 34% of her long rangers. That kick out was the scorer. She is in Central's uh, corner, so well, let's see how they do on this next offensive possession. Of those 12 Central Michigan rebounds, seven to Kayla Zunko, who has started the fast break a number of those times after getting those boards. Jump stop, short on the shot. Loose ball knocked out of bounds. It goes off Letitia Luckett. Yeah, that was a little bit of a wild shot by Luckett. That ball didn't have much chance to really go in. Delahousie dumps it into the corner. A long two is no good. Nice give into the middle of the lane, not able to get it to fall. That number will become an all-time best. Yeah, and she's been patient with her game so far this afternoon. She hasn't rushed any shots. She's not uh, going at too quick of a pace. So uh, I like the way Brittany's playing offensively right here. She's being very selective. Nice bounce in the lane from Della Husse, and a foul is Ariane Wilson knocks down two free throws, 34-25. Central Michigan on top. Boy, Baker blew right on by the defender and earns herself a knocks down two there. Yeah, I'd like to see her get to the, her getting to the free throw line eight or ten times a game, which certainly would be an advantage for CMU. Miami Guyton is back in. She'll kick it out and pick up the assist as Sarah Vest gets her first two. Nice hook pass in the lane and a trip to the line. To step out of the court for the first time and she is an added dimension, a, a shot blocker, a defender, and a big body to have out there. Yeah, and I think she's trying to find some playing time uh, as a transfer student. I think they're trying to work her into the lineup. Mm. Nice drive by Guyton. She has a half dozen. Now, once again, Western Michigan, Michigan able to attack the interior of the Central Michigan defense. Young has it knocked away. 36-29, Central Michigan by seven, just under six minutes to play first half. Partially blocked, there's that long stretch of Catherine Young able to defend and get a hand on it. Yeah, excellent added dimension, as you said. Young with the rebound, takes it back up, couldn't get it to fall. Wow. Bangston has become the offensive workhorse for the Broncos. She has 13. Yeah, Bangston likes that arc. She's an awfully good three-point shooter. Whistle. That's five minutes. Baker's now five out of six at the free throw line. She has seven points. The Chippewas lead by five. A steal. And here comes Baker on the run. Chan has hit so many threes that they came out strong on her. The drive isn't able to finalize with a shot. Here come the Broncos. Chan providing a little full court ball pressure there. Nice to see the young lady playing intense defense. Contact underneath. Blocked by Zunko, but it comes right back out to Dwyer. Wide open, easy layup. Guyton with eight points. Now lost the assignment inside. Tried to double the basketball. That left the Western Michigan player free for an easy uncontested layup. Baker will launch it. Front iron, no good. Just under four minutes to play, opening half. Central Michigan leading Western by three. Uh, 
Bounce pass down on the low blocks. And a rebound put up and in. So Guidance in double figures with 10. All of a sudden, it's a one point game. A little life on the Bronco bench. Off balance shot, but it's good by Brittany Houghton. Yeah, just when Western closes it down here, Houghton with a nice individual offensive move to increase the lead back up to three points. Nice move by Brittany Houghton. A lead that was once nine was dwindled down to that very, very uncomfortable position. Now it's back up to three. Almost got a steal. Shot clock under 10. Zunko got a hand on it. Baker finally knocks it away. Chan for three. Got it. Wow. Chan, one on three, stops at the arc and drains the three. 32nd timeout called by Western Michigan. So a game that was a one point game has uh, increased back out to six, 42 to 30. Could get to 100, I suppose. Well, in the Chippewas play, that scoreboard is buzzing. 154 points. Attempts to seven for Western Michigan. Broncos with the ball, Chippewas with the lead by six. Nice hands underneath to pop it away. Yeah, good steal. Oh, nice look. Zunka was too far under, but she finds the kick out and the three. Inside, outside, hit the post, kick it out for the long three. Great basketball by Coach Cavera's squad. Shonda Long with six points. 45-36, the lead is back to nine. A little trapping here out of a 1-3-1 trapping zone press. Eight unanswered points by Central Michigan. We're under a minute 40 to play here in the half. Another Four steal. Hands. Yeah, hands in the passing lane. Long, lefty, good. Yeah, this half court defensive change has been very effective in the last four possessions. Ten unanswered points. 47 36. And again, a hand in the passing. 17 remaining first half. Chippewas with their largest lead, leading by 11. Nice defense. Dunko's not able to. Jersey retired. And we'll chat with her here today. It's about the first clean look the Broncos have had in a couple of minutes. It's Bankston, and she has 15 points. Yeah, she's had a heck of a half. She can score uh, all over the court, mostly on the arc, but that was a nice mid-range jump shot. Boy, oh, nice diagonal oh. bounce pass to Zunko. Yeah, great catch. Nice reverse layup across the baseline. 49-38. Zunko secures another rebound, and the Chippewas can play final shot, but that might not be in their M.O. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so either. I was thinking the same thing, but they got it up in about two and a half seconds. Another steal. Long. Underneath. Couldn't get it to fall. Half-court attempt. Ooh. Off iron, no good. Chippewa's use a nice run.